Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And today on GitLab Unfiltered, I'm going to go over one of the newly released experiments, SAS scanning in VS Code. I'll walk you through how to set this up and how to begin scanning your code before you've committed or pushed it straight from the Visual Studio Code IDE. Now note that this is an experimental feature and is still being tested out. We'd love your review and I'll link the issue in the description so you can get started with reviewing this feature. Now let's jump into it. In order to get started with remote SAS scanning within VS Code, we must first install the GitLab plugin. We can do this by going to the extensions tab and searching for GitLab workflow. From here, we can easily find the plugin, which we must first install and then scroll down towards the setup guide in order to configure it properly. This involves authentication and setting up our projects. Then once that's done, we can go towards the gear icon and click on settings. From here, under extensions and under GitLab workflow, we can click on code security where we can enable the real-time SAS scan as well as scan file on save, meaning that the file is scanned each time you save it. The GitLab extension creates a little Tanuki icon. From this icon, you'll be able to see different GitLab workflows, including the remote SAS scanning. This project I have cloned, which is linked in the description, has a bunch of different SAS rules and vulnerabilities within the code. I'll take a look at some Python examples for SQL injection. This file shows a variety of hard-coded SQL expressions which are vulnerable towards SQL injection. Once I save the file, we can see that the GitLab remote scan runs and detects a variety of different vulnerabilities. If we hover over the line of code that's affected, we can see the vulnerability in a little pop-up window. If we go ahead and double click on a vulnerability from the side tab, it opens up in its own window and provides detailed information on the vulnerability and how to resolve it. Additionally, these vulnerabilities can be seen within the problems section of VS Code. You can scan a whole variety of different vulnerabilities for different languages straight from the IDE. This will allow you to find and fix security vulnerabilities faster than ever. The history of the files that were last scanned are stored within the remote SAS scan sidebar, allowing for quick lookup. Note that this is an experimental feature and is still under development. We welcome your feedback and are excited to mature this functionality in upcoming milestones. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about GitLab, what the new experiments are and the roadmap, see the links in the description. And please be sure to provide some feedback to see how you'd like this feature to progress. Thank you very much.